Hello and welcome to my channel. So as you can see from the title, today is a vlog and you're probably wondering, oh my god, it hasn't been a vlog in so, so long. And I will explain why. But first of all, I need to go get my hair cut and I'm really excited because it's dead. My hair is dead. I last got it cut in September. Look how dead that is. Like, that's horrific. I can't believe I'm showing the internet this. This is so bad. Because now that salons have opened again, I really love going to this place that I go to. I always go there and I love the people that work there and the owners. I'm going to bring some chocolates for them just as like a nice, you know, happy reopening kind of thing. Even though they have been open for about a week, two weeks now. But, you know, it's just a nice little gesture because I know how hard it must have been to have to be closed. This is what I was wearing. It was super, super basic. My joggers are from ASOS. I had Pumas on. This black bodysuit is from New Look and my jacket is from Michael Kors. As I was walking to my appointment, it was a really lovely sunny day. It was very nice and warm, but it was still a little bit windy, so I'm glad I brought a jacket. And then I found these bones that were here. I don't know what they are. They're probably some pieces of art, I guess, but they kind of look like canoes and it looked like you could sit on them. And then here's some more Liverpool city center scenery. And then I arrived at the salon. Here's me showing you what my hair looked like before and how awful it looked at the bottom once again. Oh my god, guys, it feels so much better. Keep your eyes closed. Your clothes? Where am I? What is near me? Have a look. Ooh, this is like shorter than I thought you'd go. This is nice. What do you think? Yeah. Nice? It's a nice cut. Nice trim. I nice like your cut trim. G. <laughs> I like your cut G. That's nice. That's very soft. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, so now we are back home. We went to Starbucks. Cal went to Greg's. And now I'm going to make what I'm having for lunch. What I'm going to have is one of these bagels. I really like these. They're really nice. Look at that. Eight grams of protein per bagel. Yeah. And then pairing it with these. I'd only ever had the... Is it the ham ones, Cal? Yes, the big one. Yeah. And then, but these had like chicken slices. So I did like the look of these. And you know what? I like the taste of them. So I'm gonna have them with some cream cheese and then maybe some spinach and tomatoes. Welcome to this interesting camera angle. I'm going to take this 50% less fat garlic and herb soft cheese spread. You're probably wondering, Mitch, why are you using a spoon? Well, if you watch the TikTok hacks video, I found that spreading it with a spoon, look at that, is just so much easier. Are we even in focus? Who knows? Who really does know? So now that we have that done, time for fake chicken slices. Has anyone ever tried these or any other type of meat alternative? I like the corn, uh, what are they called? The corn cocktail sausages. I like those. They look like this. Fake meat freaks my dad out. So this is for my dad. Hi, dad. This is for you. Hi, dad. <laughs> I think he's just like amazed at the fact that it has the same texture and tastes like meat. Okay, I've washed some spinach. So I'm going to put that on top alongside some cherry tomatoes because they are my faves. Ta-da! My lunch for today. Some cucumber, some tomatoes, and then this bagel. That looks so good. I'm so excited. Very pretty. So this is what Cal got from Starbucks. He got a java chip frappuccino, and I got a ice caramel latte with soy milk. As you saw, I was super happy with my hair. I still am. You guys are probably like fed up of this hair spam already, but look how much better that is. Like, no one can say that that doesn't look better. You know what I mean? I was tempted to cut it even shorter, but I decided against it. Okay, so I've just finished lunch and as promised, I will explain what happened to my camera. I woke up at 10 this morning and please bear in mind, my appointment was at half 11 and I live about three to five minutes away from this place. And somehow I was still in a rush. I don't know how that happened, but I was still rushing. And then I didn't have the time to tell you what actually happened to my camera and why I'm vlogging again, blah, blah, blah. So here is the explanation. For those of you who have been on the channel for a while, so probably like six months plus, you would have seen that I made a video where I tried the new Nando's like chicken burger, like the vegan one. And basically that is when I broke this camera. What happened was I was way too lazy and I didn't want to set it up on a tripod. So what I did did, I just set it up on a suitcase on top of a box. So it was like a suitcase, then a box, and then the camera was on top. You can only imagine that this was just very silly. And you know what the weirdest part is? We have three tripods in this house. I was just lazy. It was pure laziness. And you know what's funny? A lot of the videos on this channel were filmed in that way. Like the suitcase with the box with the, the camera on top. And it never fell. It never fell. And then as I was sitting down to film the intro for that video, I watched the camera fall in slow motion, it was like, 
it was just falling and then as I picked it up the like lens was just stuck and I tried to turn it on and off and it just wouldn't even move like the lens wasn't even going back in the camera it wasn't coming back out it was just stuck and what happened was I don't know what it's called you know like you have your camera lens and then as it closes it has like a, a guard over it that was like stuck midway so then we decided to take it to a camera repair shop for this whole time I've been filming on like a really big DSLR type of camera which is why there's been no vlogs because you know I miss this camera like vlogging with that camera camera is just like ridiculous like it's really big and it's just not good for on the go even like chill vlogs like this like it's just a nightmare so I just decided to not vlog anymore you're probably thinking wow it's been six months later is this the camera finally repaired no I basically broke it in a very awkward way that they need a very very specific part and so they have to order in that part it's taking so long to get it into the UK because nowhere here seems to have it so we just bought the same camera and I know that sounds so silly but I'm actually going to a very secret event soon and I will be vlogging it because it's a big secret and it's a big surprise and it's really cool it's a very very cool opportunity and I'm very excited and I'm very proud to be invited to it so I wasn't gonna miss the opportunity to vlog it so we just bought a new camera that is the story of the camera so I'm gonna be very careful with this one and try not to drop it I will always use a tripod another like life update if you've been keeping up with my dental journey I've been posting a lot about it on Instagram and like bits and bobs here and there like on YouTube hi everybody I just wanted to share that I'm having the best Tuesday morning ever my mouth has never been so Numb. I had four injections at the dentist this morning and it was great. I'm finally getting the very last thing done on Monday. I'm getting my crown. Guys, I'm so excited because I've been in so much pain and it's been a very painful experience. So I will be vlogging like a very tiny bit about it. I mean, I want to see what my crown looks like. I don't even know if you guys are going to be interested in it, but I'm going to vlog it anyway for my own personal experience because fingers crossed, I never need to get another crown because this has been a very expensive and a very painful journey. So I never want to get another crown ever again. I am now in the kitchen and if you know me you know that I drink at least three coffees today and for some reason I've only had one today today is the perfect day of chilling not only do I have no work to do today today is also rest day from working out which is nice so I work out like every single day apart from Thursday I'm just living life it also feels a little bit weird because normally I would still have work to do today but I just have nothing to do I'm trying to master making iced coffee at home because before I was very content with just the espresso pod and soy milk and that was it and now I've bought like syrups to go in it the problem is I don't want it to be like so sweet but I want the taste a little bit if you watch my Amazon favorites video you would have seen that these are my favorite type of pods these Starbucks ones and then obviously soy milk which is my favorite milk of choice I need you guys to help me with something I'm looking for a good sugar-free syrup ideally caramel but also I don't mind vanilla so I bought this one which is toffee caramel flavor and honestly yeah I mean I don't know what I expected it tastes like toffee but it's very strong I put in like one pipette drop I swear it was like nothing and it was just too much I didn't like it, it looks like this if you've ever tried it I don't really like it it's a bit too sweet for me so in the shops I actually saw this one which is just coffee syrup caramel flavor this one isn't sugar-free but it sounds good can be used to flavor hot and cold drinks it says if you want it subtle you can put two tablespoons and then four for stronger so there's the little measuring chart so I'm gonna make the espresso and put it into this mug right now I know ideally I should cool it but who has time for that then I also need ice once again, if you have seen my Amazon favorites, you would have seen that these are my favorite type of ice trays. They're so good. They pop out so easy. And that's what I need in my life. I don't need to make my life harder. That is what I've learned. The older I get, the more I realize, like, I need to do things that make my life easy. And this is it. I also have this really beautiful Starbucks cup, which is, like, matte and obviously the classic Starbucks mermaid lady. But look at this. It has, like, a really nice marble effect to it. I think it's just really, really pretty. But today, for the sake of science, I'm going to do it in a glass so I can see how much measurement wise I should be putting in. Today's an experiment. This is my glass of choice. It says Minecraft Live on it. It's gonna be a good one. Ta-da! I know today has just been very chill. Look how easy that pops out. Bap, bap. And I just took these out of the freezer as well. 
I know today has been really chill, but that is the reality of my life when I'm chilling. Today's just been a very nice day. So this is where I don't really know what to do. I have my glass of ice. Where do I put the syrup? Am I putting it into the actual coffee? Or am I putting it at the bottom? Or should I put it in here and then mix it around? Maybe I should do that. In this scenario, less is more. So I'd rather go with the two that they suggest at the start. Why am I shaking? Am I scared? Maybe this is what will make it less sweet if it's actually like in the coffee. I don't know. That smells good. It doesn't smell too strong like the other one. Let's pour it in. You know what? That smells good. It doesn't smell too strong like of uh, caramel. Okay. It's quite nice. I have high hopes right now. Guys, this is it. This is perfect. This literally tastes exactly like what I had this morning from Starbucks. <gasps> have I found it? I guess the only problem is like, ideally I would like a sugar-free one. So does anyone know any good like sugar-free syrups somewhere I can find them? That would be really helpful. I am impressed. This, this is good. One of these days I do want to test out trying it with vanilla extract. I made a video where I surprised my boyfriend with chickpea cookies but he didn't know they were chickpeas because he hates chickpeas. For that video I bought vanilla extract and there's no other reason why I would use it. So I don't want it to go to waste. So I was googling if you could use it as like a syrup esque vibe for a coffee and they said that you could i'm interested in trying that has anyone ever tried doing that if you have like please let me know did it turn out good was it okay i'm going to try find a reason to use this toffee flavor syrup it is very strong <sighs> i just don't know this syrup had so much potential it's suitable for vegans it's sugar free you know you got a lot in there and no matter how much i put in even if i put like the tiniest amount it was just too strong i would really like to find another way to use it because i don't want to waste it also, I don't know what we're having for dinner today because today's Thursday and if you're watching the CPK Twitch stream, you would see that he is currently in a Xbox event, like a tournament thing today. And I'm hoping that he does really well. I think if you get to the next day, which is tomorrow, you are guaranteed a thousand pounds of like prize winning, which would be really good because Cal deserves it so much. He works so hard. Honestly, he deserves it so bad. Like I'm not just saying that because he's my boyfriend, but if you saw the way that Cal works, it's crazy. Like his mind is so working focus it's very inspiring i have a few things that i could put together but i don't know if like he'll just want to get takeaway because of ease even though it's not friday because friday is cheat day but i guess today's a little bit different because maybe it'd just be easier to order something and eat that but just don't know just a really random note if you live in the uk and you like chicken garlic kievs i tried these ones from tesco the other day and they were so good that i had to buy another pack and they are these vegan chicken kievs or like garlic kievs and they're so tasty honestly like even cal really liked them and he liked the texture of them so they're made of wheat and pea protein and they're really good oh hi Sorry. i was just talking about you i was saying like i don't know what you're thinking for dinner hi what are you thinking this is my scene now my mama's Oh, I called it. I said that you'd want to take away. Also, I did my science experiment. Okay, I wonder um, if it's not so strongly of coffee in here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is actually very good. Okay. I said that this had so much potential because it's vegan and sugar free. Okay. This one is not. This is the one that has the scale on there. Oh, yeah. So I yeah. put in two teaspoons okay. and it was perfect. Mm. This tastes exactly like what I had this morning. So it's perfect. Nice. Wow. So I'm very happy about it. I completely forgot to show that we ordered dinner from Wagamama and then I went in the office to eat it with Cal and I watched him in the tournament. Sneaky K! Another kill! This How is it! How get that? One more. If he lands this kill on the Swift, he can't! Kill is happening! Oh, Sneaky K! Caesar, CPK are the winners of right? the Fanatic Xbox oh. Game Pass Invitational uh, wow. powered by PC yeah. Specialist. <laughs> So we actually went on a little walk and we went and got calippos because we haven't had one in so long. So this is how we ended the day. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I get up to in like a chill day. And until next time, I will see you when I see you. <laughs>